happening here. Uh, following up on Grin's point, I was speaking to a smart political strategist in the recent days whose, whose current prediction is that Donald Trump would lose the popular vote by more this time around, but still thread the needle in the Electoral College. So I think that is certainly true. Congressman, I want to ask you a final question, uh, switching gears, about these ICE raids that are scheduled for this weekend, which seem to have largely been not lived up to as advertised. But I think it's important to note there are pictures circulating around uh, social media the last day or so about neighborhoods like Sunset Park, Brooklyn, or Astoria, Queens, very immigrant-heavy neighborhoods, where on Sundays usually parks would be filled with soccer games and families walking around. And they seemed really empty this weekend. So I think there was certainly a fear element there. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've heard in terms of what happened with these raids uh, and what might happen next? Could there be another wave? Well, it's just one more example of this president uh, sowing hatred, fear, division uh, in our country. In my own district, mm -hmm. uh, we put out information about what uh, people's rights were when somebody comes to your door with an ICE warrant, uh, that you do not have to open the door unless they have a proper search warrant for your property. Uh, so this was the president in a, co in a collapsed way, uh, saying in advance he was going to do these things, then recognized that was a bad idea because people were going to stay back and stay home and protect themselves and their families. Uh, it's just more of the chaos. I have to tell you, I was also at the border recently. Uh, you, you pair this uh, immigration policy, chaos policy, uh, with the inhumanity that I saw at the border. Women, 56 days held in the elements and came inside the very oh. day that we were there. Their lips were cracked open with exposure. Mm. They were in a cell, and I counted it, 10 mm. cinder blocks by 13 cinder blocks. They had one toilet for 15 women. They had no running water, and the, they were told to drink out of the toilet. That water was clean enough. It's this is the inhumanity and the utter incompetence of this administration. And then you pair that with this weekend's fear tactic. We're going to come raid and take people away. Uh, and, and I'd also love to talk to you about uh, what I saw at, at Homestead. 2,300 children mm. being held for profit mm. uh, at, at, 20, at Homestead. I went there with John Lewis and many other colleagues, and he said, we came to bear witness, and what we witnessed was warehousing of children for profit. The th final thing they showed us, which was stunning to me, they showed us a room that was like an air traffic control room, and they were bragging, frankly, mm. uh, about following these travelers, very different travelers, little children. They showed us one large screen, which was tracking the last 14 days of the children's minority, meaning when they were aging out. And it showed the day that we were standing there, one child was aging out, was turning 18 that day. We said, what happens to that child? They said, Oh, they'll be taken by ICE. We've been in, in touch with ICE all along. I said, uh, and are they taken out in shackles? They tried to say no. And then they said, oh, yeah, they are. We had two aging out the next day. $775 a day per head for profit on these children, and they watch them age out. Who's the and profit go, go to? To this private company. What's the company? Um, uh, Burn. It ends with Burn. Caliburn. And you know that... Uh, Former um, Chief of Staff John Kelly is on the board there. Seven seventy-five per head per day, and then they watch them go out, go out in shackles. All right, Congresswoman, that thank you so much. That is what we need to be focused on, and thank you so much for.